Hi everyone, I'm gonna to talk to you about another app that I really like. It is called Toka Kitchen Monsters and it's from the Toka Boca series of apps. This is another free app available for iPhone or iPad. This app can be used to work on a variety of language skills, including requesting, following directions, identifying and labeling vocabulary, taking turns, identifying and labeling functions of objects, labeling action words, the list goes on. To encourage requesting skills, you can open the refrigerator and have your child point to or say the item of food that they would like to feed the monster. Make sure you're controlling the device so that they do not have free access while you're working on this skill. You can model single words to encourage your child to repeat a request or simply ask them, what do you want to feed the monster? And encourage them to use their words to say, lemon or I want the lemon based on your child's skill level. You can work on identifying vocabulary by asking your child to find different food items, or you can give them simple one-step directions on what to do with the food. You can simply say, feed the monster. You could also give them more complicated directions on what to do with the food items, such as cooking them. You can have them cook them in the microwave, tell them to cut the steak, tell them to put the steak in water, or put it on the skillet. You can also work on a lot of different action words while you're using this app, such as cutting, boiling, microwaving, frying, blending, and then when you're feeding the monster, obviously feeding or eating. Another thing to work on is negative terms. So this monster likes some food items and he does not like other food items. Let's see if he likes the steak. The monster does like the steak, but I know something that he does not like. Yeah. So if we choose the broccoli, you can already see he's making a face and a noise indicating he does not like the broccoli. Let's see if we try to feed him and what he does. You can really emphasize the word not. He does not like broccoli um, in this app. And you can also talk about different things that your child may or may not like at home. This app can be used for turn-taking activities as well. If you are working one-on-one -on -one with your child using this app, you can take turns feeding the monster. If they have siblings around and they would like a turn as well, you can add that person into the turn-taking as well. Work on my turn, your turn, for each individual turn that is being taken. I hope you found this helpful and have fun feeding these monsters.